From the Revolutionary War to Operation Enduring Freedom, the Army holds a long history of women in service. Be it seamstress or soldier, riveter or rifleman, women have earned their place in the Army's Warfighting Hall of Fame. Women like Mary McCauley, a.k.a. Molly Pitcher, for carrying water to soldiers on the front lines during the Revolutionary War, and Mary Corbin, who fought alongside her husband after he was wounded in battle. American Red Cross founder Clara Barton for her efforts before and after the Civil War, and Latter-day Joan of Arc Annie Etheridge for her heroism during the Battle of Fredericksburg. Dr. Mary E. Walker, who served as an assistant surgeon during the Civil War and Confederate POW, was the first and only woman to be awarded the Medal of Honor for her gallantry. Determined to contribute to the war effort, former slave Cathay Williams disguised herself as William Cathay making her the first African-American woman to be enlisted in the Army. And many are unaware that Underground Railroad pioneer Harriet Tubman risked her life to help recruit slaves into the Union Army. Throughout many wars, women also served in hospitals as nurses. In 1942, Brigadier General Anna Mae Hayes was commissioned into the Army Nurses Corps. She later went on to become the first woman to be appointed to the rank of general officer. Also in 1942, following the attack on Pearl Harbor, Congress approved the creation of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, or WAC. Organizations like the WAC paved the way for soldiers like Sergeant Leanne Hester and Sergeant Monica Brown, both of whom received the Silver Star for exceptional valor in combat and the first women to receive this honor since World War II. These women and many more, like the military's first female four-star general officer, General Anne E. Dunwoody, prove that the heart of a warrior is not limited to one gender.